Welcome back to Corey's Corner. I'm Corey. This is my corner. And today we got a very special guest. Uh, might mess up the name, but um, <laughs> I've been trying to pronounce it. So uh, we have today Ryan Klein, Klein of Croft. Klein, Klein of Croft. Close, Klein? close. Close? close? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you're uh, involved with a lot. You're a double major. Uh, you uh, are in the swim t on the club swim team, uh, bass fishing team. Uh, and then you do uh, TEDx. Uh, yep. First, uh, diving in, what's uh, the bass fishing team? I know you said there's a lot going on with that. Uh, yeah, so kind of recently, unfortunately, there hasn't been a whole lot, but uh, when I was coming in freshman year, is kind of when it was really popular. Uh, we had like, we had five boats, and then each boat like had uh, two people fishing. So we had a fair amount of people going, um, and then it kind of like, tapered off a little bit as we were going, but uh, that's kind of how it started. Um, so we had like 10 guys that were fishing. Where were those like tournaments? Did you just like find them? They were like all over the place. So we fish, um, the, like who we fished with was called MLF or like the corporation, um, okay. which is like major league fishing. Um, and so I also fished in uh, St. X, my high school, and that was like the same thing. So we'd fish through MLF there, um, but they would have, so it was like the college, um, tournament series uh -huh. um so we'd fish all over the place and they kind of break it up in regions i guess kind of like other sports like basketball or anything else um so it's really like the plate like the states that were close to us okay but we so we had a lot of state or we had a lot of tournaments in like missouri um we had our uh championship in oklahoma at um i forgot what it's called it wasn't green lake but it was in oklahoma okay. um and then, um, yeah, we fished a lot in Missouri, and then unfortunately, we really didn't have any tournaments like in Kentucky. But um, it was that's really, crazy because like, there's the some place. pretty nice lakes. We really, my um, so my friend Caden, I fished with him at Saint X. He loves Cumberland, which is like three hours, and uh -huh. he like we would. He was so excited if we had a tournament there, like we would have killed it. Um, but yeah, we're not sure because Cumberland is huge. Like it's yeah, like one that's of the biggest uh, state, or one of the biggest. So I go to my family. We my dad grew up at Lake Cumberland. So oh, cool. Yeah, so I've grown up going there. So that's pretty awesome. What were the teams really that you were go competing against? Were they individual or like was it actual schools? They were actual schools. It was kind of like us. Um, we kind of there's all sorts of teams. There's like the big ones that you'd obviously know, like Clemson. Clemson was a huge one. Uh, Auburn was huge. Um, they kind of had some situation with like COVID where they like, I think they kind of had to like subtract a couple boats, but <laughs> they were a huge team. Um, and then it's kind of like, a, like what I think Wesleyan had one. And so it was just ones you've heard of, but uh -huh. then there was just like us where it'd be like, uh, you'd have just a couple boats or like guys. So it, they would have full teams. So was that like a, was it considered a club sport or what was it considered? Mm, yeah, we'd be considered a club sport. So we deal with like the, um, like, yeah, like the club sports office here on campus. Okay. So, so do you know, so I know there's some schools that are making it like a actual like collegiate sport. Mm -hmm. I guess Bellarmine could eventually do that. Do you think they ever would? No, at least right now, because we don't really have a team. Um, I think, I guess it would be possible. I'm not sure if they would. Um, I don't know. I always I, look at, they, they create an esports team, so like, it, yeah, anything is growing. Can so like, yeah. I think bass fishing's growing too. It, so. It's a huge, no, it's for sure. It's huge sport right now. And I, <laughs> some people kind of laugh, but um, it's definitely growing like crazy. Um, I think it kind of has to do with COVID. I mean, that really, I think, encouraged people to go outside. Um, and we definitely felt it. I mean, fishing was harder after COVID. And then, oh, yeah. like, even going to lakes, like, they'd be slammed. Like, we'd go in and the ramps would just be full. Um, so we definitely felt it. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't thing. think people understand the amount of time that goes into bass fishing. Like, what all because you have to get up real early. yeah <laughs> yeah we have to get up really early um yeah that was rough i'm not gonna lie when we were doing tournaments like that and i would like kind of i wouldn't really tell people but like i'm like it sucked so there's times when it was like you'd wake up at 5 a.m to go fish or like 6 a.m and we had practice days i guess i didn't talk about that yet so we'd get there so on a normal tournament, we would have, so say the tournament is Thursday and Friday. We'd get there like Tuesday and then we'd fish, um, or we would try to get there like Monday night. So we'd fish like Tuesday, Wednesday is our practice days. 
and then a tournament would be like Thursday, Friday. So we'd uh -huh. try to wake up at like 6 a.m. every morning, and then we'd fish until like 5 o'clock. So we'd spend like eight hours on the water, and there'd be yeah. days like where you don't catch anything, and it's just like, this <laughs> sucks. Like, well, yeah, yeah. What, what did I really do today? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that'd be um, So there's that, and then, then we'd get off the water, and it's like, all right, let's get food, and then you kind of try to relax, try to figure out what's going on, and then it's like, and then you have homework, so it's just like. <laughs> and then it's back to And then you're going yeah. the exact same thing at 6 a.m. Yeah. So it was fun, but yeah, there's, there's times like that where it's like, yeah, that was rough. Can you talk a little bit about why the team's not together anymore, why there isn't a team? Yeah, so we had, uh, like I mentioned, we had like, we had, so we had five boats, and then, I mean, just people graduate, so, um, so Caden and I, we came in, we were the only freshman that uh, had a, well, he had a boat, so he, we were the only ones from our grade that had a boat, Okay. and then we had no one after us, so then as all the guys graduated, most of the boats were either, yeah, I guess they were all like two grade, two grades in front of us. Mm -hmm. um, so once they all graduated, we didn't really have, or we don't have boats right now. Um, so me and like, there's like one other guy that was on the team, but he was also a co-angler. Um, so yeah, there's no boats right now. Um, mm -hmm. And part of it is we didn't, we kind of lost our coach. I guess that was, when we were sophomore, or that was kind of his last season. And then we, I mean, it kind of seemed silly to recruit knowing that we didn't have a coach. Yeah. And then, cause we were like, we don't want to put anyone, um, I don't know, to force them to be in charge when they're freshmen and they don't know really what they're doing. Um, so that was kind of why I guess it kind of tapered off, but it was, we kind of felt like we knew it was going to happen. And we, we probably could have made, I don't know, the higher ups more aware of it. But yeah. I don't know. I think um, if it was to come back, it would be. I don't know. I think it could come back, um, and I think, I think we mentioned it to one of the um, higher up people. But if they was, if there was interest, we would be like welcome to talk to them and say how yeah. we did it. So um, we're not, yeah, opposed to it coming back. Sweet. So I guess a lot of it goes on if you have a boat or not, is if mm -hmm. you can compete. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and there's no, I mean, the school could buy a boat. I mean, I guess that's not yeah. completely out of, like, question. But. I remember, I guess sort of in my freshman year, there was, for the involvement fair, someone mm -hmm. brought a boat, mm -hmm. and it was there. <laughs> was that, I yeah, guess? Yeah, that was one of ours. Um, I kind of laughed because the, the president um, was like, is this our boat? And we were like, no, this is definitely <laughs> the suit. Because I was like, wondering the same thing. Is this Bellarmine's boat? <laughs> no, because we, we have them wrapped, so they, like, we, um, that we like kind of fundraised, I believe, where uh -huh. they like kind of earned the money to get the boats wrapped. Or, I mean, you could just pay out of pocket. But um, so it like had the sponsors that we had, and then it said Bellarmine, and it had a design on it. That's awesome. So it, yeah, so it said Bellarmine, but yeah, it was. <laughs> Do you, when you put a boat on the lake with your school, does it have to have a wrap on it with the Bellarmine? No, it does not. No, 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 okay. no. That was more of just a, if you want it, like a looks. It's Yeah, it's just a looks thing. Um, but they look pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, moving out of bass fishing, but yeah. staying on the water, uh, you're on the club swimming team. Uh, can you, I didn't know we had a club swimming team, so. <laughs> it's kind of pretty small. Cause I mean, we also have <laughs> regular swim team and that's obviously like, uh -huh. a lot of time commitment and that's like full D one sport. Uh, it's really just like for people who swam, like I swam in high school and I mean, I swam all growing up, like basically since I was in like preschool. So it's, I've always been in the water, like even fishing, oh, yeah. like I'm always, I don't know, I've loved the water, um, especially just in and out of it. Um, so it's hard to imagine me just like not swimming anymore. So I kind of like the idea, I heard that there's a club swim team. I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, I want to see if I can get a part of that. Um, but it's really chill. I mean, it's not, uh, we, before COVID, and I wasn't a part of the team um, my freshman year, I joined uh -huh. last year and they, I think they, I believe they did some, um, meets like swim meets okay. and then it's also, they, so we were a part of like a club swim, club swim, um, like league or okay, like, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I guess. League. I assume it's the same with like, uh, club volleyball, club basketball. Mm -hmm. there's a league. Yeah. Where there's the association or whatever. I think, so I believe they like gave dues to that 
and then uh, they did like one or two like swim meets and mm. i think they did it at, like uvel's like aquatic center i okay, think that's yeah. where one of the meets was um so they did it there and then i think they also did it like volleyball like i think you could do it like the volleyball team does where they like god that was a loud <laughs> that was a loud <laughs> uh, like the volleyball team does where they like travel somewhere like for the night or like the weekend um so i think they might have done that um so that um uh, and then it's kind of similar to bass fishing where it's like like they're we could do more it depends how like the team wants to do yeah. it like um so it's kind of difficult like the people we're in it right now we're all like super busy and we're like kind of okay with not doing meets but i think it's i think we all want to do meets but we don't one there's not a lot of people and it's like a time, more of a time commitment yeah. i guess um that's how so i played uh club volleyball oh okay uh and i just i had to stop because i just couldn't get Mm -hmm. the time to go there that is a lot of time commitment with playing a sport yeah but you enjoyed it so mm -hmm. yeah. um yeah and it's pretty much just we i guess i, I think i kind of stopped talking about it but it's pretty much like if you just want to swim and it's in the mornings or we have practice in the mornings and some in the afternoons too so that's kind of part of the reason why we don't get a lot of people but i think recently it's been really done really well i think there's a lot of people that have been consistently going that's good. Um, but yeah, they just have practice, I think, from like seven to eight. And then. Um, where are those practices? At, at uh, Mary T. That's okay. where like Bellarmine is like, I guess, partnered with Mary T. I'm uh, pretty sure. I don't know if this is true. Since Bellarmine went Division One, uh, obviously it wouldn't be just for the club swim team. It'd be for more the uh, the actual team. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure since they went, they have to get a swimming pool. I, I don't know how true that is, I hope but so. I think yeah. they there has to be something with that. Um, I mean, there's I a like lot I of. Heard that. I don't know. I'm, I think it's a rumor, but I, don't, I feel like I've heard that too. I mean, I hope we get a pool. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be um, cool. I don't know where they'd put it. You but... had no idea. Um, <laughs> yeah, but get across the street at an angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just right on the hill. <laughs> you gotta swim uphill. Um, yeah, but uh, you're also involved with uh, TEDx. Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain what that is and uh, what you're involved, how you're involved? So if you've heard of TED, I mean, it's just like uh, TED where it's like they do those videos, like roughly 10 minute videos where they talk, like dive into a project or like dive into a topic uh -huh. um, and they just something that they're passionate about and they want to talk about it. It's pretty much just like that, but it's more of like an independently um, I guess owned. I think it's independently owned. Uh -huh. um, it's kind of how it works. So it's still a part of like the TED name, but it's like more, it's, it's separate, but it's okay. still the same thing. Um, so we do, we hold, uh, we host one event or one big event each year. And then we kind of do some small ones as well. And um, so, so for our big event, it's just like TED or similar to TED where we just have, um, I think we're doing like five, like five people will come and speak. Okay. Um, so, and they give, yeah, like roughly 10 minute talks. Um, and we re we did it last year where we had like a musician and then we're hoping to do the same thing. And I think it's a student on campus who plays like the banjo and she okay, plays the banjo yeah, with her grandpa. Awesome. So, yeah, so I think we're gonna uh, have her on. So that'd be really cool. Do um, you know any other guests that are, could possibly come on? I do not. Um, I've kind of been not very a part of it because I have an <laughs> internship, but I've like roughly, I know we have five and I believe one of them, I'm not sure. I think there's a couple professors that wanted to talk. I'm not sure about that. Um, and then I think we were trying to get someone that was like really involved on camp or like in the community. Um, okay. So I think. Is that a open to like Bellarmine students to start working mm -hmm. with that? Uh, yeah, they can work with it. Uh, we kind of we host meetings each week on Fridays at one, and that's pretty much open to anyone. Um, and pretty much very wide variety of um, I guess things that can be done. I'm kind of more of like front of house and doing like um, also like people I guess service hours, but people okay. who volunteer for the yeah. event um, kind of help with doing that or is what I did last year. Hopefully I can still like have time to do all that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, getting people to help volunteer and then just help run the whole front of house, like organizing where the food's going to go yeah. and tables and, um, all that. 
and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I get oh man, you're here. involved with a lot. You <laughs> said you have an internship right now? Yes. What is uh, that internship? That's working at a, a cabinet shop right now. Um, and it was kind of hopefully to like work on their website and just do communication stuff, but it's okay. kind of varied out of that. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So you do a wide variety of for mm -hmm. them now. Yeah, That's I awesome. do. Yeah. Do you want to, what's the cabinet shop called? So it's called Jim Chambers, um, architectural designs or products is what it is. Um, and he's out in Simpsonville. Um, he's kind of started it himself and then it's just grown. Um, oh, and it's pretty, it's pretty big. Does, uh, is he looking to hire Bellarmine students? Uh, I'm sure he would. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be open to it, yeah. <laughs> you heard it here. If you want to get a job at a cabinet Cabin store, shop. you can do You can Hook me up. Dr. Ryan. Let me know. Uh, well, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for uh, coming on. Yeah, of course. Uh, man, you're involved me. with a lot. Yeah. So uh, a lot of time management. Yeah, for sure. Yep. <laughs> um, so uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want to get involved, you can email me at cwilliams2 at bellarmine.edu. Uh, thank you all for watching.